Good morning guys, how are you all doing? Um, I've had a lot of messages on Instagram recently asking if I do presets, um, to which I always have the same reply, no I don't, I don't like presets, I, I don't like the idea that you're just selling someone something so that they can use the exact same style that you have, but also presets just don't work. Like you, you copy and paste a preset onto one of your photos and it, it doesn't work like every single photo I take I edit slightly differently okay maybe it gives you a base but you can find your own base so I thought instead I would rather just show you guys how I edit one of my images um, so I asked you on Instagram um, what image you would like to see me edit and you chose this awesome portrait of Damien which is really cool for me because it's a recent photo so I had it available and easily accessible so yeah it's gonna be a fun one to edit I'll show you guys how I did it and I'm super happy you like this one because I think it's one of my favorite portraits I've taken <sighs> okay so this is the final image and this is how it looked before okay so what we did is we basically got a it was a very misty day um, so we got a car behind us, one of us got in the car, we put our full beam on and sat in front of the car. So I think the first thing that I've got to do is just straighten up the image. Um, make sure, you see we have a line in the bottom here. Uh, I think ideally this needs to be in the center. So I think that's what I'll use to line up more than a horizon line because there isn't really a horizon line that you can see because of the mist. Um, now straight away I'm gonna just change it so that it's sized up for Instagram. So just using aspect ratio 8.5 by 11 that's the perfect size for Instagram. Uh, yeah I'm happy with that crop. Cool. Now what I do, the first thing I do when I edit an image is I come straight down to the tone curve. It's a little curve on the side here um, and I'll straight away lift the blacks creating a slight S shape until I'm kind of happy with how that's going. I think lift the blacks even more I think for me, the tone curve is the most important part of editing, so I'd rather get that right first and then I can change the colors after that. You can see like I really like how these blacks are fading out, um, but I don't want it to be too faded, which is why I'm pulling it down here to keep some shadows there and lift those whites as well. I really like the, the bright whites. Okay, I think that looks awesome. So now I can go up and just change the, the temperature a little bit. I think, I think I want it a little bit warmer. My feed is very warm, so I, I really like those oranges and reds. Uh, I tend to take out quite a lot of the, the blues and the purples. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll warm that up. Um, and then add a little bit more red. I really like that. I think that's a nice, nice kind of color. Um, and let's just bring the exposure exposure down a little bit. I think that works. Maybe just a little bit less. Yeah, just bring the exposure down a tiny bit. Um, tend to leave the con contrast. Don't need to do too much there. I think if I lift these highlights, I want to try and, and lighten the, this mist a little bit so that the car becomes a little bit more discreet. So I'm going to take those highlights right up, shadows to just a tiny bit, and whites. See now the car is disappearing, so that is definitely the aim. Um, yeah, I think that's looking nice. 
clarity, I'm just gonna touch that up a little bit. I think when there's a lot of mist or when you're shooting in mist or cloud, um, you don't realize, but you're actually standing within the cloud in this photo in particular. So I think it's it's good just to increase the clarity and it just sharpens the image in case there is the speckles of, of cloud in your photo. I'm gonna take down the vibrance and take down the saturation. Um, not an awful lot, but I think that works. You really have to play around with the tone graph. Oh, there's a plane. Never mind. You really have to play around with the tone graph and just pick points because it really depends on your image um, where the, the highlights and the shadows are. So if you just pick points on that curve and drag them, you'll, you'll see uh, what part of the image you're lightening or darkening. What I might just do now is Go to the brush tool, um, set this back to zero, and I'm just gonna grab the highlights, the whites, and a tiny bit of warmth, and I'm just gonna brighten up his face. It's looking a little bit dull and flat, so I'm gonna do that with all of his skin, even his knees there. I think that works. Just brightens it up a tiny bit. Cool. Now we're gonna get onto the hue. I'm gonna take down these reds ever so slightly. I think when you're adjusting colors, I think the most important thing to remember is keep the, the skin color as your, your base. So Anything that I'm changing, any colors I'm changing is fine, so long as the, the skin color remains the same or remains a normal color. So if I see now, the reds might look cool, but his skin is now looking too red. So you just have to adjust that. There we go. That looks about right. And then saturation, I'm just gonna bring everything down. And then from there, Always take the blues out quite a bit. I still want that red hat to pop, so I'm gonna try and keep that in. That looks cool. I like it because once you've taken out these colors, it's looking just a little bit more grungy, a little bit more moody. And I think once you've altered these colors, then you'll, you'll maybe have to go back to your warmth uh, and your tint and, and maybe warm it up a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna lift those reds slightly. Oh, that looks weird. Take those oranges and the yellows too. So now I'm happy with the colors. I'm happy with the overall grade and um, fade of the photo. I just want to, to sharpen him up a bit. So I'm just gonna sharpen up a little bit there. It's always useful just to zoom. That's looking pretty sharp. Um, grain, I can add a little bit, but I don't know if I really wanna add much grain to this. I think that looks cool. And there we go. That's basically how I would edit that photo. I'm super happy. It was actually one of the easiest photos to edit because the lighting was just so perfect up on the mountain that day because it was so misty and when you have mist, um, the, the highlights and the, the colors in your face just look amazing. Yeah, I'm happy with that. That's done. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was easy for you to understand what I was doing there. If you have any questions, feel free to write them in the comments. I hope you found this super useful. This was definitely the most popular photo you guys asked for. There are a couple more, so I'm gonna see if I can do a couple more videos with those. Um, but yeah, I hope this was really helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again next week with another video. Go well.